Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and um, I know this is late. Uh, all the games have been completed. I actually don't know who won the Rockets Trail Trailblazers game. I actually uh, didn't watch it. I've been busy with something else, and this is actually something sports-related going up on my channel instead of uh, Call of Duty, uh, my road to Commander, uh, which actually has been getting good feedback. But uh, let's move on to this. I'm going to make my predictions. Um, believe me or not, but, uh, these were my predictions before the, uh, playoffs started. I just, uh, I couldn't look yesterday. I went out with friends. I uh, went out first with, uh, my best friend. Uh, she wanted to get lunch and, uh, she wanted me to go shopping with her. I have no idea why. Um, and then went to go see a movie, uh, with friends later and, uh, out to eat. So I didn't have much time. I kept up with all the games on my phone. Uh, I got to watch the Raptors game. Raptors Nets and I also got to watch most of the uh Clippers Warriors game um I watched the whole Toronto um Nets game or the Raptors Nets game on a, a TV at the mall um just kind of she was in a store um and from sitting on the seat in the store where she was I could actually see a giant TV with the game on and then the Clippers Warriors game I saw half of it on that TV still because um all the stores she wanted to go to were in the kind of that general area, and it's like a quad, um, you know, like, when you're at a basketball stadium, uh, or, yeah, basketball arena, or whatever you want to call it, uh, they have the thing in the middle with the, with a monitor on each side, or a TV, however you want to look at it, um, they kind of have that in the middle of the mall, um, in the eating area and whatnot, and all four of the TVs actually, um, some guy actually requested it, and, uh, so they were on there, so as you kind of went around the mall to the different stores and stuff, and, uh, we also ate there, you could actually see the games, and so that was pretty cool, I got to watch them, and then I actually didn't get to watch the, uh, Pacers get beat by the Hawks, and I also didn't get to see the, um, or I didn't get to see the first half of the Thunders Grizzlies game, but... As beside the point, uh, so here was my pick, uh, the Hawks over the Pacers in six. Actually, I'm gonna, actually, yeah, it was in six. Um, Hawks over the Pacers in six. The Wizards over the Bulls in five. We'll come down here. And I have the Raptors over the Nets in seven. And the Heat over the Bobcats in five. Um, I do think um, the Bobcats will take a game. I think the Heat will go up 3-0. And uh, Wade will sit out the fourth game, and uh, the Bobcats will sneak out a win. And then uh, the fifth game, the Heat will win. I think Toronto and the Nets is going to be a great series. I do think it will go to seven, and Toronto will take it in seven, which should be um, amazing, should be an amazing series. Hopefully hopefully the Raptors don't get swept, or it's not like a 4-1 thing, because that, that has the makings for a great series. So does the Washington, the Wizards, Bulls. Um, I just feel like the... Uh, the Wizards will uh, win all the close ones uh, they did today, and so I think I just think that's what's going to happen. Uh, I think the Pacers are way too messed up. Um, I I don't know what to, <laughs> I could see them fixing themselves, but I don't know at this point. Um, I just don't know. Um, I I had huge doubts about them um, before the playoffs even started. Um, that's why. I, I wanted to put Atlanta in five, but that wouldn't have been the accurate prediction of what I had before the playoffs started. So um, I'm going completely off what I had before the playoffs started. So there's that. Um, the Spurs over the Mavs, but the Spurs in five. I think the Mavs will steal a game from them. So that, that's that's what's going to go on there. Trailblazers over the Rockets in six. I think uh, Damian Lillard and uh, Damian Lillard and company will take out James Harden and Dwight Howard. In the Clippers Warriors series, I'm gonna take the Warriors in five. I think the War or no, the Warriors in six. The Warriors in six. I think the Warriors. Um, I don't think Blake Griffin has foul trouble like he did yesterday, or it'll probably be two days ago on Saturday. Um, I don't think he will have foul trouble like that any anymore. But I don't. I think. I think uh, Stephen Curry has much better games here coming up than he did. Um, I'm going to take the Thunder over the Grizzlies in four. I think the Grizzlies, if they could have stolen that game one, if they could have come back and just, that would have been demoralizing for the Thunder. I think the Grizzlies, uh, I think it would have gone to game seven, but uh, I think the Thunder uh, get a 4-0 sweep of the Grizzlies. Um, coming up to the top here, the Hawks and the Wizards. I'm going to take the Wizards in six over the Hawks. Uh, I think uh, the Hawks come out strong. I think the Hawks take the first game. 
and uh, I think they go up 2-1. I think the Wizards answer back, and then the Hawks go up 2-1, uh, but then the Wizards win three three straight and uh, take that series. Um, down here, Miami and Toronto. I'm going to take Miami in five. Uh, again, in five, I think Toronto steals another game. I think one game, DeMar DeRozan just goes off, um, and um, uh, he scores equal to LeBron, um, and I think... Um, Lowry and Wade score the same, roughly the same, and then Bosch um, has a poor game, and Miami loses one to Toronto. Coming back up to the top here, I'm going to take San Antonio. I wanted to take the Trailblazers, but uh, the Spurs are my safe pick, and I'm just going to take them in six over the uh, the Trailblazers. I do see the Trailblazers or the Rockets with the potential upset of the Spurs. I think it would actually be pretty cool if the Rockets won, and then it could be the Battle of Texas. Um, between the between San Antonio and Dallas, and then it could be the Battle of Texas round two with Houston and San Antonio or Dallas if Dallas somehow comes up and wins. Um, but uh, I do think Portland will win, and then San Antonio will win in six uh, over Portland or Houston, whoever. Um, in the Golden State OKC, I think OKC takes it, but I think they take it in six. Uh, I think those get a little bit. I think I think most of these will be good. The OKC, the San Antonio, Washington, all those wins. Um, I highly doubt all three of them will go to six, um, or uh, all three of them will be six. Maybe one's five and maybe one's seven. But uh, that's what I'm going with right now. I think Miami takes out Washington and goes back to their fourth straight NBA title. Um, this is a bit of a biased opinion because they are my favorite team. And um, if you think I'm bad wagoning, check out my favorite sports, favorite in sports video. Um, they've been my favorite team since uh, Wade got drafted back in, what was it, 03? I can't even remember. My brain is so full of so much sports knowledge and stuff that I, I, I just can't even remember anymore. I think it was 03. Was it, yeah, it was 03, I think. It wasn't 04. It was 03. 03? 04? It was 03, right? Out of Marquette, 03? I don't know. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm 90% sure it's 03. Um, and then I'm going to take OKC over uh, San Antonio. I think OKC will be, uh, oh, I got to say how many Miami. I think Miami will take it in five. Um, and then I think OKC over San Antonio. I think the Spurs age catches up to them in this series against the quick, uh, the, the quickness and speed of Durant and Ru Russell Westbrook, along with the, uh, the speed of Reggie Jackson, who is pretty fast, and I think, um, uh, some of the other role players for the, uh, Thunder will step up, um, like Derek Fisher and, uh, Ibaka, uh, I think, I just think, um, a lot of the Thunder, uh, not, not like, I don't know. Their role players will step up, and I think the Thunder will take it in six. Uh, I think that's a very good series. Um, not as the Miami Washington one won't be that great, but I do think OKC uh, San Antonio will be good, and I think OKC Miami rematch from two years ago. I think it ends the exact same way with Miami winning its third title in a row. Um, but I think this one's much more competitive, and I think it's over in seven. I think OKC takes. Um, uh, what would it be? Would it be game one in Miami? I don't know who's the home team. I forget. I think is it by wins that would make the home team. I'm not. I I forget how they tie break that because they're both the number two seed. I think OKC would be the home team. So I think OKC takes both at home. Both both to start out they go up two zero against Miami, um, and then, um, um, then Miami answers back and goes two up or ties it up two two. And then Miami wins the one on the road against OKC, but OKC comes right back and answers and wins on the road in Miami. But then Miami ends it in OKC, um, which is just kind of one of those awkward things when you lose the NBA Finals at home, uh, like Miami almost did last year to the Spurs. Uh, but that is my predictions. Let me know what you guys think. I know you guys are going to hate on my Miami pick, um, but I could see, I really could see OKC, uh, San Antonio, uh, right now, not the Pacers. I really don't see anybody out of the East. If the Pacers can't get their act together, I really don't see anybody out of the East except Miami, if you look at it. The Nets had their number during the regular season, so if the Nets advance, I still don't think they take them. I still don't think out of a best of seven, the Nets beat them four times. I just highly doubt that happens. Um, 
I think the Heat care a little bit more in the playoffs. You know, after going to three NBA Finals, you really could care less about the regular season. Uh, that's pretty much why they didn't really try that hard to get the one seed. They sat LeBron and they sat Wade. Uh, Wade was out for a while, though, and they, I think Bosch was the only one that played or something like that. Uh, they got absolutely mollywopped by the Wizards. Um, but I don't think the Nets could beat them in four. I think Pierce... I don't know if Pierce can... I don't think Garnett and Pierce can play as crappy as they did against the Raptors, and they they escaped that series against the Raptors. DeRozan cannot play like he did if they have any shot of beating the uh, the Nets. But I I don't think... I think the Nets' age will catch up to him up against the Heat. Because I don't, I don't see him taking out the Raptors in any... I see the Raptors at least winning two, so that means they got to go to six, and the Heat could beat the Bobcats in four, uh, max probably six. I don't see the Bobcats winning three, um, which would give Wade's knee and hamstring whatever else is bothering him because it's 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 just a laundry list of items. Um, and give him time to rest and um, give LeBron uh, time to rest and also give him time to study on the Nets, I guess, and get absolutely everything nailed down to what they've done wrong and all that against the Nets. And so I see them taking care of the Nets in probably five. I think it's the same if they play Toronto or the Nets. I think they take care of them in five. Um, and then then out of, I don't see anybody out of the East. I could see a lot of the teams out of the West. I could see the Thunder, obviously, since I picked them, the Spurs. I could see the Clippers, um, but I think they're going to have a hard time getting past the Warriors. It's just not a good matchup uh, for them. Um, uh, Clay Thompson guarding uh, Chris Paul. That's hard on Paul. Uh, I don't think Chris Paul can shoot the three as well as he did in in that game. Um, I don't think Curry can play as bad as he did, but I also don't think Blake Griffin will be out that much. So I could see both of those teams actually at a shot at making it to the NBA Finals. I also see Portland and the Houston Rockets both having a shot. So six out of the eight teams in the in the West, I could see making the finals. One, two, maybe out of the East, three if the Hawks get their crap together. Or not the Hawks, the Pacers get their crap together. Um, but as of right now, uh, this is my bracket prediction for the uh, the 2014 NBA playoffs. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I really like my picks. I don't even know. Alright, I think it's too late. I think it's too late to actually submit this. Um, but, I don't know, wait, I don't know, this is, I, I don't even know, but, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, if I can, I'll do updates, if I can't, then, uh, I guess this is the end of the road, uh, but those are one last look at my picks, uh, I hope you all enjoyed, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, I'll catch you guys in my next video, peace out guys.